Hi, my name is John Vander from the VIA Technical Solutions Marketing Team. This tech tip will cover plug and play provisioning using Avaya's IP phones with Avaya stackable PoE Ethernet routing switches. Overall, we will cover how to set up an Avaya PoE stackable Ethernet data switch to allow one to simply connect an Avaya IP phone and allow it to automatically connect to the network without having to provision anything on the IP phone itself. In summary, the solution will pl provide plug and play provisioning. The Avaya stackable switch can be provisioned to provide all the necessary items to provision the IP phone. This includes what voice VLAN to use, what QS settings to use, the IP address or addresses for both the call server and file server, plus whether or not to tag the voice VLAN. To provision a VIA IP phone, either DHCP or Link Layer Discovery Protocol, LLDP for short, can be used. Of the two, Avaya recommends LLDP and this is what we'll, we'll cover in this tech tip. LDP is recommended over DHCP as LLDP provisions the IP phone locally, whereas with DHCP, option 242 must be provisioned on both the data and voice VLANs. For example, if DHCP is used, the data VLAN scope must be provisioned to tell the IP phone what voice VLAN to use, while the DHCP scope for the voice VLAN must be provisioned with all the other voice related items such as what file server and call server to use. However, you can use both LDP and DHCP together where LDP will have preference over DHCP. For this configuration example, we will provision a VIA stackable switch using the VLANs and IP addresses as shown in this diagram. On the access ports where we wish to plug in the IP phones, we will provision these ports on tag the data VLAN and VLAN tag the voice VLAN. In our example, we will use VLAN ID 1008 for the data VLAN and VLAN ID 56 for the voice VLAN. LLDP will also be provisioned on the switch to tell the IP phone to tag the voice VLAN, VLAN 56 in our example, use a VLAN class of premium, and also tell the IP phone to use the call server and, uh, and file server IP address as shown here up to eight call servers and up to four file servers can be provisioned. By default, all ports on an Avaya data switch are set for untrusted. This will simply remark all traffic to best effort. For voice over IP, it is critical to enable QoS throughout the network. This means QoS must be revisioned end to end on all switches and routers where the voice traffic may travel. In regards to QoS, the VIA data switch can be provisioned using several methods. This includes Auto Detect, Auto Configure, or ADAC for short, provisioning QoS traffic profiles or policy, or adding a trusted interface group and applying it to all ports. For this example, we'll use the trusted interface group method. To begin, we will log on the switch and go to CLI privilege mode. Next, we will start by adding a new QoS interface group with the QoS class of trusted. We will simply name the interface group using a name of trust. Once we have provisioned the interface group, we need to sign it at a port level. In our example, we will, we will assign the interface group name trust to all ports on the switch. After we have accomplished this task, the switch will trust all QoS settings. Hence, it will trust the QoS settings from the data VLAN if a soft IP client is used and also trust the QoS settings from the voice VLAN for the hard IP phone clients. Next, we will add the following VLANs. 
VLAN 1008, the data VLAN, and VLAN 56, the voice VLAN. In our example, a 3-unit Ethernet routing switch 4000 stack will be used, where we will use ports 1 to 11 from the third unit in the stack. The following CLI commands will be used to provision the following. The voice and data VLANs, setting the access port with a tag mode of untagged port VLAN ID only, setting the VLAN configuration mode to automatic, adding the same port members for both the voice and data VLANs, setting the default port VLAN ID to 1008, the data VLAN ID, and finally removing the ports from the default VLAN. Next, you can verify your configuration by using the following show commands. Next, we will provision the link layer discovery protocol parameters. At a global level, we will provision the following, adding the LDP via Vendor Pacific file and call server IP addresses. And at an interface level, we will provision the following, adding an LDP media endpoint discovery policy with the voice VLAN ID and QS DCP and PBIT values for, the, for our premium class of service. And finally, setting the LDP Vendor Pacific dot one q parameter to tag the voice vlan the cli commands as shown here will provision the following at a global level the lldp avaya vendor pacific call server and file server addresses then at an interface level we will provision the lldp media endpoint policy with the appropriate qs and vlan values set the via vendor pacific dot one q framing value to tagged this in turn will be used by the switch to provision the attached ip phone after ldp has been provisioned you can verify the ldp configuration by using the cli commands as shown here Assuming we have an Avaya 9640G phone connected to port 3 on the Avaya switch, we can use the show LDP neighbor detail command to observe the following. The IP address used by the phone, the MAC address of the phone, the VLAN used, the QS settings, power consumed by the phone, the hardware revision, the model number of the phone, and finally the serial number of the phone. Please note that on some older switch models or earlier software releases, LDP is disabled by default. The CLI command shown here must be entered to enable LDP. To verify if LDP is enabled or not, please use the CLI commands as shown in the next slide. As shown here for each show command, all values should be shown as enabled or true. For more details, please refer to the VIA IP Telephony Deployment Technical Configuration Guide. The direct URL for this document is shown here.
Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor.avaya.com or Twitter at Avaya Mentor. Thank you for choosing Avaya.